Hi and uh, welcome back to this channel. My name is Susan Silentoy and this is Is That So with Silentoy where we talk about how government works and just, you know, so we can get an understanding of how we can contribute to the governance of this country. And probably through this, we can create a politically empowered generation. So we're starting off a new series. It's called the Opinion Series. We're heading towards the election and we just want to sample a few views and thoughts about what do we think about the current political situation? What are our real thoughts, you know? What do we actually think about this? And on set, we have a couple of guests, um, and I'll let them introduce themselves. These are amazing young people doing spectacular things in different spaces. Uh, and I'll start with you, Nerima. You can introduce yourself. Just tell us your name. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, thanks, Sue. So I'm Nerima Wako, and I run an NGO that uh, focuses on including young people in political processes, governance, constitution everything basically that's what i do mm -hmm. okay that's nice next person oh ah, yeah <laughs> okay thank you my name is zach babel masabi uh i'm a politician and also a political analyst that is uh, by uh choice but uh, in uh, really all by practice but um by profession i'm a financial officer or a finance officer and uh in this country, yes, the young people, here we are, I've tried politics and I know how it goes and I, I'm a guy who I've vied, so I can say more about the young people and I can give a way that the young people can uh, focus in, in our coming election. Thank you. Cool. Welcome, Zach. Thanks for, for being Thank here. Thank you. Yes, Koe. Thank you for having me. I am Koe Kamila, so a communication consultant, and I generally enjoy political conversations. Great. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. My <laughs> name is uh, Askon Kamili. Uh, I also love politics. I am a lawyer. I'm also uh, an electrical engineer. I currently subscribe to the ASMU Laumoja ideology. Oh, great. Great. Yeah, actually, in this conversation, we're going to be very open about what our views, like who we support, <laughs> um, if, if that's something you're comfortable doing. But we really just want to hear what are your thoughts about this. So, I, of course, I'll start with you, Asko. Wow. Um, since you are the one, the first one to declare your views, <laughs> um, what do you really care about? Well, uh, I'd, I'd uh, want to give an opinion at a personal level, but also share what I think is uh, the common view uh, amongst young people in this country right now. Uh, you will notice that uh, what cuts across is the talk on the economy. And therefore, first and foremost, we need to underscore that uh, there is a lot at stake in this election. In fact, this election, unlike all the other elections, is uh, so important that I would, I, would, I would encourage every young person to take interest and take part in uh, the election at every stage, mm -hmm. at the voter registration stage, at the you know the the, the casting of uh, the votes, and equally following up to ensure that uh, our elections are not rigged. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important process that uh, I would encourage every other young person to participate in. But going back to what I'd said earlier, the most important thing in this election, or the conversation we need to have, is on the economy, yeah. because uh, those who feel the weight of uh, a messed up economy, or those who feel the weight of uh, a co an economy that is running down, is the young people. Yeah. And uh, we have had them across the political divide, be it in UDA, Kenya Kwanzaa, or uh, Azimiola Moja and ODM. Every young, person is, every young person is concerned about the state of the economy. Mm -hmm. So what we want to hear from every other politician, from the most basic level, at the MCA level, to the highest office, that is uh, the presidency, we want to hear them talk about the economy. The economy. Nothing but the economy. Okay. Um, do you guys agree that young people care about the economy? Is that something that is a consensus here? And what aspect about the economy do we actually care about? Like, okay, so I'll fix the economy. Aj, I'm like, what is it about the economy do we feel is broken <laughs> that actually needs to be fixed? Access um, to opportunity. You see, but go um, ahead. You might pick on that, um, Susanna. There is a, this is our nation. And in this nation, we, when we came up with the independence, that is, we have been trying this uh, model called uh, trickle down. Mm -hmm. Since the Kenyatta era, mm -hmm. the Kenyatta era. Oh, Before you even go on, do you ascribe to a certain, are oh, you okay, um, allied uh, to anybody? I'm um, su subscribed to Hustler Nation, um, that is um, 
the UDA okay. or Kenya okay. Council. So, you, so this opinion <laughs> that you're giving us, so is it yours or money are UDA? The, opin the opinion that I'm giving it eh. is mine as a Kenyan okay. Okay. and also as a, a person who love politics okay. and who want uh, our nation to grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance or uh, the UDA came up with something called a bottom-up mm -hmm. economic model. It's the only party that came up with the slogan for the economy. Because when you look at the Azimio, they were telling us about uh, 6,000. They want to give the unemployed youths about 6,000 per month. Now, you giving that youth 6,000 per month, what can 6,000 do for you? Even some of the youth spend 6,000 in a day. But someone want to give you 6,000 in a month. Mm. This 6,000 in a month, it will not be able to open you a business. Maybe it can give you a, let's start starting. If it's a kind of a business, I don't know what type of business <laughs> in our economy. We want to speak here the truth so that uh, our nation can move forward. Okay. So, but in 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 in, in economy way, we come up with a, a model of bottom up economy. Okay. So so you've said the six thousand shilling doesn't work, yeah. Yes. But what is what is bottom up? Bottom up is uh, where 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 the government is giving money to the that common monarchy. How? This is how we are how that that six thousand. No, this this <laughs> now this is about the see how CDF works. Okay. The CDF you give. Uh, CDF to the students and they're able to go on with their education. Mm -hmm. But bottom up is whereby the government is going to come up with a model mm -hmm. with around now the his excellency the deputy president is talking about uh, 50 billion or 60 billion mm -hmm. that's going to be channeled through the common monarchy. This common monarchy is having a farmer is a, a mama kiosk, mm. a border border. Mm. From that, he can be able to access that fund in terms of a loan, or in terms of a, a free loan. Okay. So, and so this loan, this loan is not six thousand, eh. and this loan will make you to develop that your business from a kiosk to a shop to a supermarket. Yeah. Now here is about how can you, you empower? It's about the empowerment. Okay. Okay. You cannot you what Susan? Eh. You cannot empower a young person mm. with giving handout. But you can empower a young person by giving a resource from the government that that person, okay, this money that I'm giving you, I want you to channel it through somewhere. Okay. And as we have started, mm, our Kiwi cows mm. for bottom up and training them, if you get this money, what this can how. you do with okay, it? Okay, so, you know, um, and that's your party's views. Yes. Uh, so, but I want to hear more about Zach, Zach specifically and his opinions. Mm -hmm. But I'll come back to you. <laughs> um, I don't know, Koi and Merima. So these two guys, of course, they've allied to specific places. And if you guys are allied, you can also see. <laughs> um, but like, I want to hear from you. So, what exactly about the economy do you think is a thing that needs to be fixed? Or if if it's not the issue about the economy. What other thing do you think young people or you personally like? What do you care about? Like me, me, I care about taxes. Like I feel like I'm paying a lot of taxes, and what are we doing about that? You know. So like, what what are you guys? What do you guys think? Is it the economy? Is it something else? Uh, I'll go. I'll agree with what he says yeah. uh, to a certain extent, and I'll say the biggest issue currently is youth unemployment. Mm -hmm. Uh, the age bracket between around, let's say, 25 to 35. Mm. These are guys who have gone through the pandemic where they lost their jobs, where they, they, the opportunities have become scarce. So we're looking at someone who will come and govern us and provide opportunities where I don't have to know someone to get a job. Mm. So the policies are in place that are going to support the the youth so i agree there's an issue with our economy and the biggest issue currently is youth unemployment okay. yes. so that's what you think young people care about the most yes. oh, okay and what about you i i agree in terms of the economy being an issue but i feel the country has a problem with accountability uh we do have too many resources already going towards cdf um the auditor general's report showed about 10 counties losing up to 50 million plus mm. in CDF alone in education. 
I've not even touched health. We've not even talked about access to water. We've not talked about the basic necessities. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's of concern to me, not everyone wants to start something. That People business. don't start a business. A I just want to live. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the environment to live. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be a financial resource for me to have a better life. Yeah. Just make Kenya yeah. a better environment for me to prosper. Yeah. And, and what I see because of the work that I do, there are a lot of systems systemic issues, mm. lack of accountability, lack of information in terms of how the constitution is to work, mm -hmm. the departments that exist, we have fighting. Even with this, uh, what you're talking about, increasing resources, mm -hmm. there's going to be fighting between MCAs, mm -hmm. members of parliament. I've not even gone into ward administrators, mm -hmm. people who will be appointed by governors. We've not even talked about Senate, mm -hmm. who don't have a budget. Yeah. And they will wonder, how am I running a county without a budget and you're increasing the budget to the people mm. and I'm elected? Mm. I don't so, have a kitty for myself. Thank you. Mm. So me, when, when I hear some of these solutions, yeah. I'm like, Equa grow, because me, I'm the one now yeah. who has to be with the people yeah. and I actually see what happens yeah. on the ground. Plus, there's, there's a lot of funds going around. I don't know. So there's a, there was a youth fund, there's a Keopa, there's like there's so many different funds. So that, so what I'm hearing from you guys is extra funds. You, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Be before she goes, because eh? uh, I'm going to lose this. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I wanted to respond to this is because uh, he paints a picture of uh, how, how, how careless uh, a specific side of the political divide wants to attend to our issues. They, they don't carry it with the, uh, I mean, they don't, they don't think it's as weighty as we think. Mm. Meaning, when we talk about the economy, to them it's as easy as uh, pick some 100 million, throw it out to people in the villages, and they'll be okay. Nerima says not everybody wants to start a kiosk. People want a conducive environment. And that speaks to the whole approach. Does the 6,000 give the conducive I'm getting, environment? I'm, I'm getting to that. Okay. Now, uh, that speaks to the wholesome approach. Mm. The Azimio Laumoja and Arai Laudinga wishes to attend to the issues that uh, are pertinent in this country. One is the question of the 6,000 uh, Social Protection Fund. Now, this is not something that is new in this in this uh, part of the part of the world. It has been done in the U.S. It is going on in Namibia. It is being done in Egypt. This is the reasoning behind it. The ODM as a party is uh, based on social democracy. What does this uh, imply? This means. Behind or be, be besides all that we want to do, what is more dear to us is uh, the welfare of the people at the base of the strata, like people in the slums, people in the villages, those, those who don't have jobs. What do we have to do with them? Among uh, the World Development Goals or SDGs is nobody should be left behind. Mm -hmm. Now, we, are pe we have people in Kenya. In fact, in Kenya has a record globally that there are people who can uh, go a whole week without something to put in their, in their stomach. Now, what are, we, what are we going to do with these people? Ignore them, send them a thousand shillings to start this a case. Are saying they now, this is what we are saying. No, yeah. no, no. We don't want to give somebody money, somebody who's sick and dying. We don't mm. want to give somebody money, somebody who hasn't eaten for a whole week. So, so the to... social protection fund mm. is supposed to give a chance to everybody to be at a level where, one, they can sustain their meals, mm. they can ensure they have proper health care, they can ensure with they 6, have. This is, this is what is going on. Eh? Eh, eh. You go to a family in Kibera. Eh. This family has six members of a family. Mm. Some of them lost jobs due to coronavirus. Some of them are still young and going to school. Mm. Their parents may be uh, handicapped or they are disabled in some way. What we want to do is to ensure that they have at least some a thousand shillings to feed these people without going to work. Okay. They have some a thousand shillings to buy some basic me uh, medication okay, when okay. there is need. Yeah, they, ha they, have, they have something okay. to keep them going as the government finds a solution. This is a stopgap measure. <laughs> it is not supposed to be a permanent solution to their problems. Okay. But as, as we find initial, their, okay. uh, as we find them a permanent solution, we have to ensure that everybody is comfortable. Is comfortable. That is okay. the first step. The I second hear you. step. I hear you. The second no, step. We'll, we'll get we'll get into that a little bit more. Uh, and I don't want this conversation to go into both yours because we we're not propagating this two horse race. Eh? So I and I, I hear you at least <laughs> I hear that okay you guys understand you're you're supporting these different sides for those specific reasons and it's fine. I just want to know like coming back now just pulling back to what we are usually talk about with politics. Does it matter who who the president endorses? 
in your own view like do, you don't have to give me your party's views like wewe kama zak wewe kama nirima uh, munona like it does it matter who the president says ni huyu chagua would it matter. would it influence who you vote for uh, if, uh, I, I go ahead go wait what i wanted to do eh unarudisha huko i wanted to say something before to end mbali something i just wanted to make it clear one minute zak one minute eh this is a document that will be documented eh Unfair, if, if you don't respond, respond. okay one one minute mm. when we talk about um, Kwanza, even when you're going to talk fund. about it both of you where can someone find resources to read about what you're both proposing right. how do so how does yeah. someone mm. can you give us uh, like links so that we link it in the description yes. so that if someone wants to know more about it at least yes. that's we does, we can read. Have, we already have that you have yeah. please share a explanation of, of what, what bottom up is approach. because i delay what we get what is that <laughs> what is <laughs> bottom up tunasikianga tu watu wa kiosk kwa mboga that's all i mean you have been able to explain it in a clear way. Okay, give us the explanation. For that, you have talked about social protection fund. It has been there. As she has said, there have been youth funds and what. Do you know that there are Kenyans who have never accessed those funds? And which miracle will you, the government of Azimio use to make sure that these people access the funds? But even you guys are offering funds, aren't you? Now, with us, when I talk about the bottom up, I want to give you an idea example back in the village let's say where i come from like mm. in korea mm. korea we have our our mothers who are farmers of potatoes mm. if you sell that a bag of potato in korea it will go around uh, say, uh, say 2000 mm. then you sell it to somebody who will bring it to nairobi mm. once that person is in a wakulima market he will be able to look for some somebody who is like um, a third party mm-hmm. get somebody get him somewhere and uh, sell that bag of potato mm-hmm. at 7000 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. now that bag of potato you bought it at 2k what you want to do in bottom up we want to make sure that mama can sell that bag of potato for 7000 for 7000 that won't upset Without the whole market situation here. Okay. Yeah, we are so you want to eliminate the brokers, the brokers. Want to the brokers so that we can reach. if you can't take it from the far, from the farmer direct, direct to the company mm. and sell it in a fair price okay. it will be able to get that mkulima doing something okay okay so we, so so we, we hear you we hear you we hear you and like <laughs> we are not very sure what that yeah, means but yeah. just fyi we will actually so do a whole episode i don't know if i cont- if i continue about what you said yes i'll that. get back i just want to clarify we will do separate episodes just to talk about what what is that social protection and what is bottom up yeah. so of course we it's still not very clear uh, but we'll do that separately okay. so this discussion let's let's move it forward so that because you're not here to represent your parties me yeah, i'm here exactly. to hear your opinions mm-hmm. as in exactly. yes. ah, yeah. so so we can get into i want koi to come into yeah. this do you care who the president endorses uh i don't really care who the president endorses mm-hmm. one because uh kenyan politics is very not pre- it's not predictable yeah. i'll put it that way if yeah. you look at 202 mm-hmm. when moi endorsed to huru how what the situation happened but now we're looking at 2022 and it seems that whoever uhuru endorses is going to play a big factor he's going to play a big factor in this uh, politics of 2022 and that's why mm-hmm. uda is saying simli sema kumi kumi yeah we mm. and then also baba wants Uhuru's endorsement. Yeah. And you can already see that in Mount Kenya with the presence of Uhuru the ground has shifted, right? To an extent. Yeah, to an extent. And you can also agree. You can also oh, agree in your opinion you don't think it has yeah, shifted. Yeah, it has shifted to a certain extent. Okay. 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 So, Go ahead Koi, with your train of thought. So, we cannot look at history and see that and say that in 202 this happened. Yeah. It will be the same thing that will happen in 2022. So, uh i look forward to seeing what will happen, what will happen yeah. because it seems that Uhuru it has a factor might play a very big role okay yes. but you don't personally care i don't like personally it's not like ati ukisikia uhuru amesema tu vote ya nani i'll be like hey, you know i've listened to the person that I know, doesn't no, apply no, no. to you the ideologies both yeah. and any other presidential candidate because i don't want to lock out just the uh, two yes the two mm. 
whatever they propagate. And the two being Raila and Ruto. Yes, the <laughs> two being, yes, okay. Raila <laughs> and Ruto yeah. and Kag Kagame. Kigame. Kigame, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. And whoever else well, who's yeah. going to come out, Jimmy mm. Jake, I'd want to see the ideologies and yeah. know who I'll vote for. But I think Uhuru is going to play a, a significant, a, a significant role. role in mm. this election. Yes. Nerima, do you want to jump onto this? Yeah, it, it matters. Mm. And, and this is the first time in history we have an incumbent yeah. still acting like he's going for a fourth term. Yeah. <laughs> a fourth term. <laughs> That's never happened before. Mm. Uh, and so we're living in history. But we also have to think about the state behind him. Mm. When you're inviting people to state house mm. um, and it's a political agenda, mm. that has a completely different feel mm. from inviting people to your house in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are having cabinet secretaries, when you are having um, CAS, mm -hmm. people who are public officers mm -hmm. going about and campaigning, different feel. When you have the resources to back you up, mm. the budget. What feel? You know, touch he on He has one billion budget. He has mm. a one billion budget mm. without a single line mm. saying where it's going to. Mm. It's going to have an effect. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily mean what he says. Mm. It's what he's able to do, mm. which we're going to see a huge shift in the next few months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, you want to jump onto this? Yeah, because uh, it's quite uh, an important uh, yeah. subject they're discussing. Eh? First, I don't think we can divorce the president from politics. The avenue through which the president became president is politics. Why we want to divorce him from politics, in most cases, I don't understand. So you think Uhuru he, he Kinyata, must play a besides role? Besides being the president, eh. he is a full-time politician. Okay. Now, this also takes me to the question. <laughs> You're using state resources to do that? No, 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 no I don't know. He can all right. have an opinion. Yeah. He's right. a Kenyan. Right. Yeah. But then as soon as you use the machine of state. Right. Well, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's like debatable. should be figure of national yeah. unity? Yeah. Or that's, are you going against it? Or legally, legally, he's he not, shouldn't he's not right. be. Yeah. Okay. Legally, but listen, he listen, shouldn't listen, be. Listen. But practically, he is. This is the, this is the yeah. picture This is the picture I'm trying to paint. Eh? If you go to the U.S. and look at their history, you'll see what Obama did to Clinton and still he did it to, to Biden. But you know, someone would argue, I just want to come on to that. Someone would argue, these people are in the same party, like they're in Democratic Party, so it's like they it's have the, they have the same yeah. views, so that's why it would it would just be inevitable for him to support He was not that. using White you know, House resources. He was, yeah, he <laughs> wasn't using that. I, I, I know where you're coming <laughs> okay. from. I know but where like you're coming should, from. Should, like, why, why do you think? Uh, but let me, let, me, let me just finish wait, this. Wait, wait. Hey, let me just finish hey, Go this. ahead. <laughs> uh, you know, this is not very new of Uhuru Kenyatta. In fact, this is very characteristic of Uhuru Kenyatta. Look at Uhuru Kenyatta, the, op the official opposition leader in 2002. Two turning around and supporting President, Ki President Kibaki, who was then the incumbent president. Huru Kinyata was the official opposition leader then, dropped the opposition badge, and moved to support the incumbent president for a second term. It is not new for us to see Huru Kinyata as the president. So what is happening now? No, that's because what I'm just hold on, hold on, hold on. If Kibaki hold did on, that, that would be the same situation. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. I'm trying to say that uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, it is not new for us to see Uhuru Kenyatta support somebody who was viewed in the initial stages as mm. somebody he would never support. Now, Uhuru Kenyatta has tried to justify why he's doing this on several occasions. Mm -hmm. One, he has said that he was in a country where he could not travel to some parts of the country for strong political views, and he wanted to find a... a, a, a a balance to this. Mm -hmm. He wanted to ensure that he's a president that unites the whole country. Yeah. He said he tried to share this with his deputy, and the deputy was part and parcel of the process of brewing this. He doesn't understand why or where this uh, divorce came from. Secondly, Uhuru Kenyatta has stated that oh, he, he doesn't, doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. The, president the president doesn't does understand. Not, why. And yes, he stated that. He does well, not understand. <laughs> No, he has spoken to this severally. And the president. So he said, said him. He doesn't know why they broke up. He doesn't <laughs> understand how and him why. Him and Ruto broke yes, up. Okay. Why they yeah. broke up? Because he said the reason William says is uh, the reason why they broke up is mm -hmm. the handshake, right? Yeah. Now, no, just hold on. That is what who, that is what William says. <laughs> William says it is the handshake that yeah, caused handshake. that caused uh, the problems in Jubilee. Okay. He has said that yeah. it's yeah. on record. Sure. Okay. Now, Uru Kenyatta said, from the, pro from the start of the process, 
William was involved. Yeah. Even at the process of uh, coming yeah. up with the list of members of the BPI committee, mm. William had members there. Okay. So he never understands why where William, it's coming from. You know, okay. To so how does that play a role now, in him endorsing someone? Now this is what I'm trying mm. to say. Uhuru was justifying why he went for Aila Odinga instead of William Ruto. He has said that he went for Aila Odinga at the outset to bring unity in the you country. You see, the problem is, right? the thing we're discussing here is not about whether he should have an opinion. Of course, yeah. he, he should have an opinion. Yeah. But, like, does that yeah. matter to you? Do you care? Yeah. It Who? matters to me. This is, is the that, president why does of the Republic matter of Kenya. To you? If the president of the Republic of Kenya cannot take a stand on a matter, then we, there needs to be a cause for So, so like, who Raki Kwambe, you vote this way, Uta vote evil. Yeah. That, that's in what fact, I'm asking. In, you know, in fact, this is a true picture. Uh, let's let's uh, ignore the ideal position. The true picture is in Kenya today, in Kenya today, mm -hmm. the young people, the old alike, mm -hmm. they have a political leader they listen to. Oh. Now, if you go to some parts of Kenya, there are people who listen to Raila Odinga, mm. and whatever Raila Odinga says goes. They'll not listen to any other people. Okay. So so it matters Even, to you. So it matters to me. Okay. I turn I need to, the I need direction. To, because we need Raila to talk Odinga about stick. other things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, allow me to say something on, the, on this. Eh? You see, in Kenya, there's a history mm -hmm. that uh, we had Moi. Mm -hmm. Moi tried to endorse Uhuru, mm -hmm. and it never worked. It's high time that the youth of this nation and the Kenyans avoid politics of endorsement. Mm -hmm. Because when you endorse because someone, he's not endorsing your candidate. no, not because you're not well, endorsing. Your your candidate. Candidate. No, yeah. actually what if, what now. It's okay. It's okay. No, Uhuru, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uhuru has some people that he can influence mm. and those that he can't Lots influence. Lots of people. A lot of people. Mm. Okay. And there are people who, the moment Uhuru come out here and say, uh, me as the president, I'm endorsing this and this. Mm. There are people who will walk out of that endorsement. Okay. You know, politics of endorsement is a threat to our nation. Okay. Because we don't know this leader, what is he hiding that mm. he wants to bring in a friend. So it when, was not friends when you Ruto. people work, yeah. when you people go to a battlefield uh. with your friend uh. and say now we are going to work together with a manifesto, uh. then you after some time you put the manifesto aside as how the big four agenda was kept aside, mm. and now somebody comes with a BBI okay. without coming in with a manifesto. Somebody will be obliged to walk out and See. say like, no, I, my manifesto for the people of Kenya, mm. for people of this nation, mm. was yeah. the big four agenda. So do you care who here? Who we, 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 uh, currently, Kenyans don't care. No, 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 you no, are Zach. You, me you are Zach, do I care? don't care hey. whoever the president Why endorse. don't you care? Because the endorsement comes from the people. From the Moana okay. okay. is the person who has so the, the votes. Uh, but do you and, 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 and there is a mistake here. Do you think he has the numbers? Yes, he has the numbers. So you still don't care? I know he, he has, has the numbers, numbers who he can influence, okay. but now the Kenyans has changed. Okay. The Kenya has changed. Okay. The, the, the same way I said, this guy is trying to use the uh, state materials mm. to mm. influence mm. the money for the, our state, for yeah. our country. Yeah and trying to influence some people, maybe giving them handouts. Okay. Okay. Why is it so? And then he comes out telling the cabinet secretaries when to one day he was in... in okay. No, let me say this. When he was in Kitengela, he okay. said, uh, siyasa, kazi. If you remember, mm -hmm. the cabinet secretaries should not go out there and engage in politics. Mm -hmm. But now he has changed the tune. Mm -hmm. He's the same person who's sending the cabinet secretaries to mm. go there and work. Mm. Okay. We are seeing the cabinet secretaries have already taken their nani. It's even a threat to our nation that the minister of Ministry of Interior mm. taking a side yeah. okay. to government okay. while it's a political yeah. moment. Just, just, to just to clarify, um, public servants are not supposed to engage in yeah, politics. So it's against the law for someone like Matiangi to come out and say, I support whoever, because he's a public servant. And in fact, the law dictates, they vote, the law dictates that if you want to take a political side, you should resign by the 9th of February, which passed. <laughs> and then you go ahead and do that. So, so I just need to clarify, I just need to clarify that. Um, but I want, to, I want us to move on from this conversation and just get into something that has come up this election season. Mm -hmm. So of course, you've had the story of hustlers versus dynasties. Mm -hmm. Have you had this conversation? And uh, I d what do you think about Is it a true conversation? I want to start with Koi. Is it a true conversation? Uh, I think if we look at reality, is that there are classes in society. Mm. There's a rich, there's a poor, and there's a middle class. So that's a reality. Mm. 
But unfortunately, when we see leaders who have influence dividing people into dynasties and uh, hustlers, it's a very dangerous narrative to propagate. One, because you we've seen a governor in Kisi, was it Kisi about last year, his car was burnt down mm. by Boda Boda people who you would consider yeah. as hustler mm. and the governor is... Uh, Hustler no, no. The hustler was the the governor was not a hustler line, but the governor. He's a dynasty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, he's a in this situation, uh, he's a dynasty. So just to clarify, so, hustlers versus dynasty is actually a, a class. Is it's in, a class war. Is it yes. a, a rich people versus poor people yes, war? Yes, That's what it is. Yes, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So when we see leaders propagating such narratives, it could be. It's it's actually I, I look at it as a a, a very selfish move because you know the majority of people fall under the hustler uh, category. Mm -hmm. So you will get the votes. You yeah. will win their hearts and minds. But you will also divide these people to attack the dynasties. Mm -hmm. So In quotes. Like yes, dynasties, dynasties in quotes. In quotes okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I look at it as it's a reality of things, mm -hmm. but we shouldn't have influential mm -hmm. leaders Probably propagating so. such narratives. Okay. Yes. okay, so does anyone want to jump on that co uh, conversation? Mm -hmm. If I can say this, eh? <laughs> dynasties versus hustlers is something that you cannot avoid. Mm -hmm. It's there. Mm -hmm. uh, since independence, we have people who have been in leadership in this nation. Mm -hmm. uh, even us as the youths were being told we are the leaders of tomorrow. We were born the same way they were born with their mothers. We have to come out and get those seats. But there is this uh, kind of they want to change a nation to be like a kingship or uh, queenship thing. Mm. This is a nation that uh, now they have to pave way for other leadership. So is it like, now, this, are you this, saying this, that this it's a kingship, queenship because it's like in a family? It's like, like a, a family or some, some people who believe that Kenya is what, it's theirs. Mm. You see, oh, so there are had, people who think Kenya yeah, is theirs. Which there are people, people are Tell me what. Tell no, me what they say this. Uh, uh -huh. We had Mze Moi uh -huh. came in, uh -huh. a Kamaliza. Okay. And things were okay now, mm. and they sold for it's now his later. And now we have um, we had Mze uh, Kenyatta, mm. which it continued with the from Kenyatta. Now there is the Kenyatta, the the son. Mm. Kenyatta now is with the Jaramogi, who is Raila. Mm. They believe coming together in the name that now we want to protect this nation. So the, the families that have been the in families leadership. families that have been in leadership. So, so for you, the issue is, a, is a family, a fa like leadership. families that have been in leadership yeah. versus the rest of the country yeah, and, then, and not necessarily see, which people, people versus... Look at the people who go to boardrooms mm. in supporting the Azimio or the, the Uhuru. And the people who meet in uh, Safari Park. Mm. And these people are mm. all dynasties. But this, uh, this, 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 uh, this uh, <laughs> hustler term, yeah. when we go to his excellent the deputy president, yeah. he go outside a meeting the common Mwananchi, mm. and where the word came, Tanga Tanga. Mm. He have to go there, meet the common Mwananchi, know what they are saying. While these other people, the dynasties, are meeting the boardroom, okay. knowing they have money. So you think it's a true oh, narrative? It's a true narrative. And, and the narrative is based on mm. certain families versus it's, the rest yes, of Kenya? Exactly. Okay. So, so it's not that he rich people versus the rest of Kenya, it according is, to you? It is not the rich people. Okay, it okay. It is some families. Eh. That's what we have to be. We have to be. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And it's affecting you. our yeah. Let me ask you, because you put it that way, would you consider... Uh, Ruto to be dynasty or, or Hasra. Where do you categorize him? I wouldn't consider Ruto no, to be no. dynasty. Because? Because uh, look at his history. Uh -huh. This guy is somebody who we even don't know. I, I'm sure you don't know his father, who he was. Uh -huh. We don't know what his father was doing. Uh -huh. But he was not having any position, not even a chief in the village. Uh -huh. So this guy is just like us. So he's someone from so if, if, why, why I'm in power. Is that how your category yeah. is with has legs? Yes. If, so if, if, so if, if, he's if, rich, if, but he no, still has he Yeah, he's still has okay. Because if today Ruto become a president of this nation, uh -huh. I will have hope of being a president of this nation. Uh 
Mm. But if uh, if you give Raila a presidency of this nation, <laughs> I won't have hope okay. because I know my father has to be something. <laughs> Nerima, I want you to come into this conversation <laughs> and tell me, uh, do you, what, like, what do you think about Zach's opinions? Like, is it a family issue versus the rest of the world? I mean, I, I think I think I think Zach understands it as a family issue, mm. but from me with my engagement mm-hmm. uh, in Nakuru. Uh, last weekend, we were almost attacked mm. because we were viewed as dynasty. Because yeah. Aminaka. <laughs> it was border border guys. So, it's, it's, it's not like that. It's not translated like that mm. on the ground. It's not family. It's, it's the rich versus the poor. Mm. And I think it's, it's dangerous. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. Uh, because once people are in this, they're in this bubble of our belief, mm. you can't get them out. Mm. Because the group think that I saw that day, as they almost set our car on fire, mm. you could not talk to them to calm down. Mm. until they were told these are not even politicians Mm. Mm. and for me i have a very political family Mm. Mm? my name is wako so does that mean that i cannot you know that doesn't mean i'm dynasty (laughs) let me say this eh? i'm dynasty people who wanted to set your car on fire Mm. we have uh, a norm in this kenya that the some people who tend to believe that once you hit a motorbike rider, they turn against you. Not because you are in the car, but because of the, uh, the accident maybe you have caused, all the problem, all the injury you have But they didn't cause the accident. I didn't they cause may, the they accident. There may be yeah. something behind you. Somebody can no, come Zach, you, Zach, I'm, I'm your speaking. Car and you want to no. burn your car. No. Listen, um, listen, no. Listen, 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 just to clarify, no, he was not doing it. He's watering down the... You're watering down the situation. Mm-hmm. You're watering it down. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you right here, right now, there are a number of young people who are very frustrated with life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they are searching for a scapegoat to blame. Mm-hmm. And this narrative is giving them that space to blame someone. Mm-hmm. And it's dangerous. And that's how Trump rose mm-hmm. to power with fear. Mm-hmm. And so we either use fear or hate mm-hmm. to rise. Mm-hmm. And right now what we're doing is hate. And, and if we don't translate this narrative, especially you, uh, since it's your party, yeah. you guys are not doing a good job translating what it means. Yeah. Because you I can see. tell you for sure, people don't see it that uh, way on the ground. Just one minute, just to add on to her point. Mm. You know sometimes it's not even the rich versus the poor. You could be the rich one in that, place. In that particular but area, you're but you're not rich. necessarily yeah. rich. So you're considered dynasty, yes. and it's very dangerous That's because as we head there, we'll start seeing people. This I don't want to I, I don't want to categorize them, but yeah, you'll see people attacking each other based on class. Mm. And you could be a victim mm. who is propagating the narrative because of selfish the selfish interest of your party. Yeah. We shouldn't we shouldn't see that. We shouldn't see that see, because saying, because yeah. it can it can go out issue. of control. It can really, really go so, out so of control. So you you're specifying that it's a family issue. No, family but what we are seeing is it's not translating. Not translating to the okay. ground. I really want yeah. uh, okay. as yeah. to Segregation in every society is very wrong. And uh, in most cases, leaders who've rose or who have risen to power yeah. in uh, such fashion have turned out to be the worst leaders in this country, or not even in this country, but even globally. Look at Hitler, look at uh, Trump, look every other leader who has risen to power on the basis of uh, you know, separating the society. Trump was white against black, you know, others were, even in terms of religion, Muslims against Christians, it, the end game is to cause violence and uh, havoc and uh, total turmoil in the lives of people. Okay, okay. So this must be discouraged at each and every stage. Okay. But my question goes to those who view it as a family thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For instance, now, William Ruto is, uh, becomes president, which I hope he doesn't because I really believe he shouldn't be president. <laughs> <laughs> and you now, tell us why. I'll tell you, you why. I'll mean, tell you but why. Yeah, but I want to imagine that Ruto's son or daughter mm. is not permitted to contest for any seat in this country because their father became every human being mm. is created in my belief mm. with their own vision and ambitions yeah. if Ruto's son would want to be a president someday i don't i don't need to stop him because he, he has what it takes to be there let him fight for his chance that is what democracy gives us a chance to okay. everybody should be given a chance yeah. to exercise their yeah. right without being viewed victimized, you know, victimized for for being so I'll, I'll give you just one chance to respond because it's directly yeah. targeted you know at your party about, then we'll move this conversation you on. Know when i talk about dynasties mm. 
Do you know the president of this nation? He came out saying one day, I don't understand why Kenyans are broke. All of you know that. He said that. Mm. He did. I don't know. Yes, he was so he said did. that. We then. don't yeah. understand <laughs> why Kenyans are broke. Mm. This person, because he don't know, there are people who even sleep hungry without food. Mm. There are people who don't know how they will wake up Kesho so and he the country. Really so he is a person who lived in state house, everything. So he doesn't understand the problem that the Kenyans are facing. He said this actually in one of the media conference and he was hosting people in state house and mm. I don't understand why Kenyans are broke. Mm. He what doesn't context? understand what why Kenyans are broke. Is it why what he says? Yeah. Yeah. What context? Why the why, the why uh, he doesn't understand why Kenyans are broke? Why he is the same people the same person mm -hmm. who go on borrowing money outside. So that means so he's, he's... I like, think... I, I, guess, guess, I, I, no, 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 I, I get where he's coming from. Okay. But okay. I think I want to, I'd want to encourage you to uh, keep up that uh, kind of thinking. This is the reason. Uhuru Kenyatta could have gone to the best schools, could have been president or the son of a president. Mm. But that does not stop him mm. from experiencing an everyday life or interacting with people on an everyday basis. Mm. Uru Kenyatta has workers that he feeds or that he pays. Uru Kenyatta has businesses that he runs. Mm. We should not try and view Uru Kenyatta as the son of a president who probably doesn't know even the slightest of uh, the challenges of our people. Okay, now okay. my question is, eh. by the time he was being elected, he mm. was elected on the basis of understanding the, the problems and challenges of, of this field. Which is fine. Now he turns around now that even from the outset he could he not have understood. Which is okay. It baffles me. It's you know. okay. And now this is my final question on that topic. Eh? Question. We, we, yeah, it's eh. my question to him because he's directed a question to me on the, on, on, on the very thing. Eh? <laughs> Here is uh, William Ruto who has been part and parcel of the government from when it was initiated to now when it's ending. Okay. This is a William Ruto who has not at one time. Okay. So I'll stop about. you. I'll stop you because this conversation is not about Ruto I or or Raila or Uhuru. It's okay, it's okay. We'll we'll cover that in another in another topic. I, I want us to take a different turn. A little bit. But but have you captured that the president said you this, give us the he clip. doesn't will, know will, why will, the Kenyans are will, will broke. Give us the clip. Will I will. It's, it's there. there. Okay. It's there in social so media. so we, what what I've learned from this discussion is that I guess people have different definitions of what hustlers versus dynasty is, no, 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 and no. therefore it doesn't translate no, no, properly. No, 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 no. And it, because of how it's translated, it could end up being a terrible. I don't. Thing. I don't think so. I don't, just allow me to. to, to no, I will stop you. I will no, stop you because no, that's a very important thing you've said there. You've said that people don't seem to understand what the hustler versus dynasty thing is about. Yeah. That should not be important to us. What is material is what would be the end game. Those who are propagating this, to what end do they want to do this? So, now what we are saying from the very outset, anything that makes us us uh, against them yeah. should be stopped. Okay. Be it religion, be it politics, be it uh, economy, whatever the level. So us, it's, a, it's a divisive. Yes, us against, against them should never appear. appear. And think. by the way, I'm so happy with Kenyans because yeah. no Kenyan today would want to listen to a politician mm. who tells them something against the other one. You listen to the other day, an MP or a Zeta senator in uh, Eldoret made a very stupid statement. Yeah, Madoa yeah. Doa stuff. Yeah. And everybody yeah. in UDA, yeah. in yeah. Kazimi, everybody was against it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that must come out properly. Okay. That anything that pits, at, pits us against uh, each other yeah. should not be. Should not be. I hear you. I hear you. No, we are, we're heading to the elections. We, this is the month of February. Elections is in August. But uh, we've seen this conversation about, so this is a, like a two-horse race, apparently. Yeah. Is this something you believe? And this has been, I don't know, tried to be validated by opinion polls. So we see in the, last, the, the most recent poll by Tifa, I think um, Ruto was leading at 37%. The, other, the one by the star, I think Ruto was leading by, is it 46%? Um, first of all, do opinion polls matter? And are these people actually the two main horses? And I want you to be honest. Like, what actually makes a horse in a presidential race? Two main horses being Raila and, and Ruto. So what makes a horse in a presidential race? And, uh, and why do we cancel these other people? And, you know, are these opinion polls true? Um, anyone can jump into that one. <laughs> Nerima, do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. So I think opinion polls matter. But unfortunately in Kenya, we, we have opinion polls, some of them paid 
for and doctored. Actually, I will I will jump on that and say when I was buying because I buy in the last election. <laughs> someone told me, "Sitweke tu ka opinion poll, tuseme wewe ndio uko huku juu ndio ianze conversation." And and that's actually true. Yeah. So what, which opinion polls should we trust and is this, is this a two most and that's the thing it, yeah. it's hard to say in Kenya now which ones are authentic mm. um, and even unfortunately even our media now is in the same bed with politicians mm. so when it comes to that sort of information I still feel we're still lagging behind so I wouldn't trust them a hundred percent but they'll give some sort of feel as to what the public is feeling yeah. uh, I do think that media has framed it to be a two horse race they always do uh, that's also for their own sales uh, it also helps them to have discussions like this heated and they also be able to you know show them on platforms and people yes. watch yeah. because if it's too peaceful everyone's getting along then that doesn't sell yeah. so so that's why it's two horse race yeah. but then what makes a kingpin you talk about a kingpin mm. is people a person normally men actually it's all men uh, who is able to bring <laughs> together mm. uh, a number of particular tribes especially mm. so we're looking at the numbers Mm -hmm. and it's the big five mm -hmm. and so we're still on this tribe oh yeah okay. we will be mm -hmm. for a, a while are we gonna get over it at some point i think is it something to be got over you know like is this a bad thing you know some people say this is just how politics is. even in the u.s mm -hmm. blacks vote in another way that's a t the form of tribalism for them mm -hmm. so is this like a wrong thing are we doing the wrong thing as kenyans i don't think it's a wrong thing i just think that people are using it wrongly mm -hmm. and and i think it's going to be like this for decades to come I think it's going to shift. Uh, frankly speaking, we're not paying attention to the Somali population. I think that population is going to make a huge impact in 2027. Mm -hmm. uh, we're already seeing the shift that they are making in terms of key government positions mm -hmm. and the fact that now they have their own party mm -hmm. uh, to be recognized. And I think that's going to be a key player coming into the game that we're not paying attention to. Mm. Okay, interesting. Um, Zach or Koi? Okay. Koi maybe yeah. go. <laughs> uh, opinion polls are good. I I like them, but uh, like she said, they're manipulated mm. to a certain extent. Uh, although I've received messages from uh, the star asking me who's my preferred presidential candidate. Yes. Mm. Did you vote? I mean, did you respond? No, I did not because I'm still undecided. Oh, yes, I see. Yeah. So you so said undecided. <laughs> So I didn't even take I was like no I will not I will not even vote I see yes. okay yeah uh -huh. because one how did you get my data mm. yeah so I had actually you're, so you're many the questions. first person I yes. have met who has been a target of any of this opinion poll so, so I'm yes. happy that so I know, I, know there. <laughs> I, I know they're there I know some of them are real but I know they're manipulated and I also understand that Kenyans heading to the general election, people change their vote at the ballot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can't really say that uh, if Ruto is leading by 37, he will stick there and he'll be, okay. yeah. And, and it's unfortunate when uh, individuals like the polls and they're favoring them. And then yeah. what happens when they're the polls they're begin <laughs> to change and they're, they're not, do you still believe in mm -hmm. them? Yeah, mm -hmm. so yes, I, I enjoy them. Yeah. I like consuming that content. Do you think yeah. that forms our opinion about the two horse race? Like it just solidifies yes, the two people does. to watch. It definitely mm. does. And the truth, the reality, we need to be real. Mm. The truth is it's a two horse race. Mm. Why is it the truth? Like it's 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 Kenyans are going to vote either for Raila or for Ruto or not vote at all. Okay. Yes. What about what about so, those other people? Yeah, <laughs> they're always forgotten. You they're know, always me forgotten. I've been a donkey in a race. <laughs> me, I've been a donkey in a race. Mm. And yeah. like, I wa yeah, and there are some people who vote. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but. I was, I was a random candidate. Yeah, so, uh, These are They're very good, actually. Mm. They bring up a perspective of like somebody's winning. Mm. And uh, they change someone's vote. Like, Kuna Yula Nasema, I don't want to remain aside. I want to be somewhere in a winning team. Mm. Remain in a winning team, it make other person believe like I have to believe in these opinion polls mm. by now. So they give some people credit, as Wako uh, has said and uh, Koi, mm. they give some people credit in it. And uh, yeah, there are those who are paid. 
to believe. Have you guys ever been for a, uh, a pool? No, we have never. <laughs> <laughs> We we have, no, no, we have never paid <laughs> because the hustler, mm-hmm. the hustlers also there, mm-hmm. the people who are like consulting, they are real people. Tonga, mm-hmm. are you have a real following, that's what you're saying. Okay. The hustler okay. Nation. That's why uh, you talked about some community tribe thing. That's why a community like where I come from, uh, we have never been out government, outside government. We were in Jubilee, we were in Moi government, we vote where the government is. Mm. So that's, why, that's why, that's yeah. why we yeah. actually, yeah. actually the <laughs> poor community made a, a declaration uh, mm-hmm. that they are going and all, everybody in Korea community yeah. is supporting <laughs> William Samoy Ruto. And uh, yeah, you, everyone is allowed to come campaign. You see, you see, you see, no, it's not an opinion. <laughs> That's a declaration okay. uh-huh. that we, the Korea community, mm. we are going, and it's a matter that we vote. Uh-huh. We can, they cannot vote on any other person apart yeah. from William Samuel Ruto because uh-huh. they believe uh-huh. he's going to form a government. Uh-huh. Oh, because the I'm government. Like, that's no, the they believe not they're even because of government, but we know okay. we have never been outside government. That's why when you are telling other people outside here, like hey. you, <laughs> since you learn from Zach. the Korea tribe, we have never been outside government. <laughs> so, we will be. By force. By force. By force. By force. And you see, if you look at how the, uh, the polls are going right yeah. now, yeah. it's only the polls that are being manipulated somehow. Also, say. That those who are being manipulated by Zimio to increase their numbers, but in uh, the real sense, mm, in the they, real they sense, have the numbers. they as Zimio don't have numbers pertaining to the youth. I think so I, I also, also before you before you come I, in, I, I, I vied as you said. Let me say this: uh, I vied as you said. I also vied in 2017. Where? Where did you vied? I vied in Korea uh, as, as an, an MCA. Oh, as an MCA. Okay. When I was vying as an MCA, there's this perspective that made me not to win. Mm. Is like. You women. don't no. There's this community thing. You don't have a wife. Mm. You have to get a wife for you. We you have a wife you. now. I'm still searching. That's why I'm not okay. But now I want to oh, make wow. sure that um, you. William goes in. Yeah, and and, and I think we will we will do another episode. Yeah, and we'll do another episode just to discuss tribe. Mm what role that plays when we vote especially as young people because it seems like we may sometimes have a different opinion mm. and also things like those about being married and all that but yes go ahead <laughs> but i have a question for you and also for you because it's a two horse yes it's a two horse race Is it, yeah you know we are we're still saying okay okay Allegedly according to me yeah, okay. I, I i think it's a two horse race <laughs> yeah. and so i'll ask what happens because at this moment there's uda they're celebrating their head what happens because I strongly believe that some of these polls are manipulated. What happens in the event that as we near to the general election, because if I look at the star poll, I'll mention it because they, they sent me a message. Yeah. So um, when I look at the star poll, I'm seeing an increase of... Uh, Raila, he's yeah. he's slowly, he's, he's closing the margin. Yeah. yeah. And before, and before... Yeah. If you look at UDA, they never used to complain. Now they are saying you've you've had him mentioned yeah, that that they're being manipulated yeah. by the Azimio side. What happens see, in the event that yes. Raila is that now me, takes no, the no, lead no, compared no, to to fake news? Okay. Yes. What out. happens? What no, happens? Will you still believe <laughs> the poll? No, <laughs> just to point out, yes. even yeah. in 2017, in 2013, Raila has always led. Yes. Mm opinion polls yeah so and then now because the election didn't go their way they were like so oh, do you believe that no so yeah, that that yeah. 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 can i answer or or like I, I, want, I want to ask yeah. him to get in because he's I, not talking okay. 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 right. i wanted him to answer the question and then you will yeah. answer yes okay. Okay. <laughs> ideally my, 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 my little knowledge on statistics tells me that opinion polling is quite a scientific process mm. and uh if done properly it should give us the right picture in fact, it's a method in statistics that is used to give res- reliable results and, and data, to analyze data. So opinion polling is not wrong at any level. Mm. But the only challenge that we have with opinion polling, as they have rightfully mentioned, is when uh, political parties or agents go out there to manipulate these opinion polls. Yeah. 
Now, be that as it may, we can't change it, we can't do anything. Corruption is all over Kenya. <laughs> so no wonder we are advancing our ideologies towards dealing with corruption, unlike our opponents. Now, the moment we deal with uh, corruption in opinion polling, opinion polling can actually give us a true picture of how our politics is moving. Okay. In fact, opinion polling has been used uh, in so many areas. Like right now, our party is using opinion polling as one of the mechanisms of being denominations. Hey, and we'll, we'll talk about that whole story in another episode. Yeah, we will, but, but yeah. this is what we're But just to clarify, like what, what he's saying yeah. is they will, they will use opinion polls to determine which people get the tickets in particular places. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, if, you look at, if you look at presidential debates even in Kenya, they, they, I think you participated in the other one. Yes. Now, you realize that the first debate was scheduled to happen amongst the, 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 the candidates who polled lower than 5%. Mm -hmm. And then the other debate was for those who had polled above this. Didn't which un fair? It was very fair because really we are not going to waste a whole one hour listening to people who have not proven to us that they can. What do you mean? They are, they are candidates, they are, they are, they've been nominated by ABC like the same as everybody. Like why, why should other candidates be given a higher platform? Mm -hmm. It it's should be, it platform. should be, it's not, it's not a higher it is a higher platform. It okay, sh everybody should be held in the same standard. <laughs> me, you know me, I've been a donkey. I'm fighting for the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're staying. Uh, well, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But uh, what I was trying to build is uh, look at even our, 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 our laws. Runoffs are only done when uh, an election is done. And the first person and the second person. Because at that point, what one may vote? But this now, other now one I'm just trying perception. to paint a picture of why, really, uh, opinion polls are a good thing. They're not a bad thing necessarily. But if they are used properly, they can help in informing opinions. Okay. And informing I want, I want uh, Zach to answer the question. No, 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 no. There's something I didn't answer there. You are asking about the two horse race. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and if really this is there. You know, I'm so happy that this is the best election Kenya is having. In fact, in my view, mm -hmm. this is the easiest election. Because Why is it the easiest election? Because, because we have clear choices. We have black and white. There are no great choices here. We have William Ruto and Raila Odinga. But did you say now, that William, in the last election? Huh? Did you say the same thing in the last yes, election? Yes, in the last election it was it clear. It was Raila Odinga and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. So then it fits the same. No, in this case, it cannot be the same. Uhuru Kenyatta is totally different from William Ruto. William yeah, Ruto has all the dark spots on his body. Those people are on the same side. <laughs> Why are you divorcing the two? Now, the election was between Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta. In fact, the pres the, pres the, 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 the candidates then yeah, yeah. were Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Yeah. Why I'm so happy this is a very clear choice we have is because we have William Ruto, who has a clear record of what he has done, yeah. and Raila Odinga, with a very clear record of what he has okay. done. So okay. Kenyans have what to choose from. Yeah, they just okay. need, you know, in fact, this is a situation where you go into a hall and you're given a chance to pick from two things, mm -hmm. and they're clearly decorated differently. Okay. Just, just pick, pick from so what you it, like. what I'm hearing from you is yeah. that it is a, it is a two horse race. It's a two horse race. Okay. In and form. that you believe opinion polls? <laughs> I do. Okay. I don't so believe opinion polls. I, I, I think I like they them they for what a, they should be. They give a sense. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please answer that uh, question, and we're we're going to wind up because yeah, we've been having okay. this conversation for a while. <laughs> if tomorrow the opinion polls change, uh, why I believe that it will be how manipulated? You remember the comments of Sabina Chebi mm -hmm. of late. Now you know in 2017 we did something. Already the government, all the people are supporting the. When we talk about the government, I'm talking about the people are supporting the other party, <laughs> which is Azimio. Uh, they're in fear. Because that's the why. That's why they even tried to kick out the media from uh, following up the election results and everything. Which that is in the electoral amendment bill. Yeah. It's in. It's they are still trying to kick it out because. They know the truth where it lies. Although both sides what, have been thing, opposed, both cannot, sides of the political divide have actually been opposed. This should go on record. This should go on record. No, sure. record. This should go on record. Uh, when the person who originated that is IBC, IBC. 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 it's not as in you. Yes, it's not no, as in you. But they can say IBC is government. Yes. yes. But anyway, IBC. no, IBC is an independent institution. No, 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 no. Okay. IBC is an independent institution. We are so we want to remain independent. Yes. But the people who are supporting that amendment.
But they actually both both sides of the divine have come out to say. I have to clarify that is not true. Both sides have said that they are against okay. that amendment. ODM and that's a minute. That's a minute. It's an insult to Raila Odinga in the ODM. People who have had a history of fighting for you know. But yeah, just to clarify, both sides have come out to okay. say that they are not opposed to. Let me let, let me accept that, Go but ahead. not that much <laughs> because I know that this is not a chimia magic. If today we see Raila Odinga in the head of the polls. Mm -hmm. I will believe it is something that has been manipulated because we both know people who are doing these uh, kind of uh, polls, as you have said, you even have a plan of using them in the nomination, which yeah. is actually, I don't know, I don't know, whoever will do that is trying to shame our nation. Okay, that's a whole other then, I know. Then, yeah, then, yeah. then, then, uh, that is now where it comes hustlers versus dynasties because people will buy them and the hustlers will. Let's not die. Aye, sour. So, so hey, go back. They mm. will buy. Mm. Will I believe the government is able to influence anything by now mm -hmm. to make sure that they pull Raila Odinga to the top? And as it is now, you go to Mashinani, you realize Raila Odinga doesn't have a ground. A ground even has changed in in, in, in Luo Nyanza. Mm -hmm. Whereby this claim was, was, this is was, Zach's opinion. Yeah, this I is not the opinion of <laughs> 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 Now, there's a reason why we do campaigns. Mm. We do campaigns to influence thoughts and opinions. Yeah. So when somebody campaigns, we are certain that something will change okay. when you campaign, right? Mm -hmm. Now, William Ruto and his team, including Zach, mm -hmm. have been campaigning for the past nine years when everybody held her, her, else has held back. Mm -hmm. Now, they have reached a point, uh, what's called uh, an elastic limit, okay. where they can't stretch any further. Okay. Where Raila Odinga is up the curve, okay. right? So that is now, in the situation where Uhuru Kenyatta goes to Central Kenya, <laughs> we'll see the curve move further, sour, sour. and, and they'll really start crying, and this is very dangerous. I need to pause, I need to stop that conversation, because our time is up, we, we finish. We, we finished, yeah, so let's not go there, and uh, we'll, we'll have this conversation again, but now as we're closing, I want each of you guys to just talk about should should young people vote like why why should we vote you you've already talked about things like people are talking about rigging uh, people are talking about manipulating the elections people don't trust the electoral system how do you tell a young person that anyway this you you need to vote and why why should they vote so i'll start with you if they want things to change they can't just expect it to change mm. uh by sitting on the sidelines so they have to participate in some form of fashion and right now this is the simplest way because I do public participation, I do budget cycles, I do follow up with auditor generals. This is the easiest thing mm. you can do yeah. from my experience. Mm. And so that's what I will tell mm. the youth to do. Look at that camera and tell them to vote. I will vote is the easiest <laughs> thing you will do for you to participate. Yeah. And just not to feel that everything is heading to shit. <laughs> and you can't do anything about it and by sitting and sulking is not going to be the solution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Thank you. Zach? They mm. say not, no, nothing without us if we are not in the table. Mm. Nothing for us. Nothing for us if you are not in the table. Mm. So we should be in the table. Mm. And your vote matters. And you should be in that table mm. by voting. Okay. Uh, why I still uh, say there's one word here like um, young people they should be included in leadership. Mm. When you are born, you are told you are the leader of tomorrow. You are the future, and the future is now. Mm. If the future is now, let us look for the people to vote for. Okay. We should vote for William Samuel Ruto because of his age. His age? One, one thing that we, I okay. consider that mm. much, that's mm. me, because of his age. For him to give us a space for other generation to take over. Okay. But why do you believe we have a nation whereby you retire, you go for retirement at the age of 60. Then, you want to tell us, somebody at 78 years old will mm. vote him as president. Mm. When will you as Susan Become be a president? president? Okay. So we expect you to Hopefully become a president. Years. Yes, when will you become a president? So let this person go, give pave way. If he really loves the youth of this nation. Okay. He should know that now he has been there. Okay. Give them space. Mm. Let them also take over leadership. So and that's what I'm saying. You. And that's what I'm saying now. Okay. Because of considering that to you, if you are a youth outside there, yeah. and believe you, you are a leader of tomorrow, you believe you want to be a leader of this nation, mm. 
give yes. this so you, give I don't the want to be a leader Why should if you okay this? if you believe you want to grow and have a, and change this nation to the current you generation don't want to change it na niko to no you don't if you, then you don't want to change it you don't even have to complain about the state okay. of the nation okay. so if you believe all this you have to give the leadership to the young people let okay. the young people get space okay. because we said there's no employment mm. presidency is in, is also an employment Ah, so the done. moment you give the president that job, <laughs> ah, yeah. so okay. now let 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 the, 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 the <laughs> let the old men go. <laughs> and I let the young people take okay. space. So, so uh, that that is yours, and thank you. That's mine. Uh, Kui, why should young people? Uh, we started this conversation by saying the biggest issue that we are currently facing as young people is unemployment, and it tickles down to the economy. Yeah. And politics runs the economy. Therefore, if you want to engage in the conversation about the economy, then you need to vote. Yeah. And it's your right as a citizen to vote. Therefore, I would urge young people to vote because in that way, that way they will be exercising their right as a citizen. As a citizen. Yes. Okay, so they should vote. They should so vote. That it, because it affects their, their lives. Yes, in I a agree big way. With 100%. Yes, ask. Voting in this election is that important. It will determine how you eat, it will determine how you dress, it will determine what hospital you go to, it will literally determine even how you go to school. So the young people must understand that this is a very important process. I know they're sharing they're sharing away from this process for several other reasons. Mm -hmm. Others have given up, others feel that it doesn't matter, others have other background reasons that uh, they would want to attach to this. Yeah. But I want to encourage everybody that we have been far the periphery too long. We have to get really at the center where all the decisions are made and we can only get there when we participate in the electoral process. Right. Now in this election we have uh, a very clear picture. We have very distinct choices uh, to pick from. We have William Ruto, we have Raila Odinga. We yeah. know why they don't and want to. And there are other people vying as well, including in our opinion, in my Go opinion, ahead. In my opinion, <laughs> we have two horses here. We have Raila Odinga and we have William Ruto. We have clear choices to pick from. We have uh, on one side, those who no, not give us your side. What are yes. you saying? No, allow, me, uh, allow, allow me to mm. allow me to 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 pitch for Raila Odinga because okay. it's very important. Okay. We have a side that does not want us to talk about history because they know what their history is clad with. We have a side that does not want us to talk about the unity of this country because we know about their history with the unity of this country. We have a side that does not want us to talk about the economy of this country in a holistic manner because they know they have ravaged this economy and they have taken part in killing this economy. And then we have the side of Ayla Odinga, whose history, whose record, and whose knowledge of how to turn around this economy is out there for everybody. Pick a side. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. So that, thank you so much, guys, for, for coming for this first episode of our opinion series. Uh, I hope I'll see you guys again. And like, I really appreciate your time and your views and your thoughts. And I do want to clarify that all the views expressed here are of the people who have expressed them and not of the channel. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. If you've gotten this far, please give us a like and a subscribe from wherever you're listening to us from or if you're on YouTube. Um, and we'll see you again uh, in another episode.